One of the most powerful features that we haven't talked about yet is conditional logic. None of the free WordPress plugins include this functionality, and NinjaForms has it as a separate add-on. Let's create a new form called Project Inquiry. I'll go to Forms, Add New, and I'll click Create the Form. Now let's add all the information that we need. I'll go to Advanced Fields, I'll add a name, email, I want a budget selector, in this case I want a set of radio buttons, and a project description, which can be a paragraph. Let's go over here and set up these radio buttons. I'll click here to open these up. The fields can be called budget. The first option will be less than $100. The second option can be 100 to $1,000. And the final option can be over $1,000. I'll minimize this field and I'll change the title right here. I'll just call this Project Description. Now that we have all the fields, let's use conditional logic to send an email to the CEO when we have a big project that comes in. Let's update the form to make sure we don't lose any progress. Then I'll go to Settings, Notifications, and let's add a new notification and we'll send it to the boss. I'll go ahead and manually add a subject message here, a big project is coming in. And for the message, I'll type in, And now, let's not forget to add all the information from the form. So over here on the right, I'll click this little form icon, and I'll add all submitted fields. And now let's turn on conditional logic, and only enable this notification when $1,000 is selected. I'll scroll down. Here's conditional logic. Send this notification if all the following is a match. I want the budget to be set to $1,000 and click Save Notification. This is pretty simple, but really useful. We can also do some things on the lower end to make us more efficient. Let's say we don't actually take projects less than $100. We can still give some value to the person who's submitting the form. I'll create a new notification. I'll go to Notifications, Add New. I'll select their email field. I'll add a subject message. And I'll write up some helpful text. So right here, I've taken a little bit of time to let them know that I can help them and advise them for a small fee, or I can reference a specific partner who does work like this. Let's go down and enable conditional logic. 
I'll set the budget equal to less than $100 and click Save Notification. There's one more thing I want to do with conditional logic. Sometimes users get overwhelmed by the number of form fields. You can conditionally show or hide fields with Gravity Forms. For our site, we can hide the project description until they fill out the budget. And we can actually only make it show up once someone selects one of the values we actually want. If they select less than $100, we don't need them to fill out the description since we won't be taking the project anyway. Let's go back to our form. I'll click on Edit and down to Project Description, and I'll open it up. And under Advanced, we can see Conditional Logic. So we will say, show this field if all of the following are met. Budget is 100 to 1,000, or budget is a thousand dollars or more and i'll change this to any i'll save my form and let's click on preview to see if this works so you can see name email budget i'll select less than a hundred dollars nothing shows up i'll select a hundred dollars and there's our form field as you can see, conditional logic is very powerful. You can drastically reduce your incoming email while still providing value to the people who fill out the form. You can send high priority emails to the right person, and you can conditionally show and hide fields based on what information you need. Gravity Forms has a lot of amazing functionality built in, but inevitably, you're going to want to do something more. The first place to look is their list of add-ons. There are a lot of options here. You can click into any of these add-ons and see more about what it does and what license level you need to have. If you want to display your Gravity Form submissions on your website, but not as posts, you might want to look at Gravity View. It's a separate company that makes their own premium add-on for Gravity Forms. So you can display all of your submissions in various formats like lists, tables, and graphs. You can also use Gravity Wiz, which are tiny little modifications for Gravity Forms, like adding a word counter to your paragraph field. There's a lot of tiny user interface changes that they make. In most cases, you can get by with Gravity Forms on its own with just a few add-ons. But if you're in need to create visualizations for your project, you might need Gravity View. And if you need very specific small changes for Gravity Forms, I definitely look into Gravity Wiz. And if you can't find anything here, you can search WordPress.org for plugins from the community that extend Gravity Forms.